Hello, it's Mark the Chef, MTC here again, and today I'm cooking uh, cooking stew, slow cooked stew. So my ingredients I have is uh, sweet potato, or we call it kumara in New Zealand. The potatoes, they've all been diced into, into chunky pieces. The carrots, onions, garlic. My meat here, I've already chopped pieces and I've coated them with flour. I've got some, some fat that I've saved from another roast that I did the other day, so I'm just going to put a little spoon of that in. Just a quick note, even though the dishes no, look a little dirty, uh, they're actually um, been used for some time now, so they're probably more like your camping dishes. Definitely clean, certainly no frills. However, I am getting a sponsor at some point who will provide you with the top of the line dishes. I'm just stirring uh, the uh, ingredients all together, uh, basically just browning that meat off. Just a quick note, uh, when you are chopping on the chopping board, place a cloth underneath, preferably a wet cloth or a wet uh, handy towel, and that will really stop it moving around, so good for our safety. And there you go, uh, the meat and onions are browned off, the garlic as well, you can still hear it sizzling. Now we don't want to cook the meat. We just want to brown it, it's very important. I'm adding the potatoes, uh, uh, cut up chunky. Just spread them out. Good fish. Put them in the mix. Looks like my dish is a bit too big, uh, or too small, I should say. I'm going to transfer it into another dish and make two dishes. Before I do that, I'm putting the pumpkin, or I should say, sorry, the kumara on top. As you can see, very nice, but uh, just too small, so I'm going to transfer that into another dish. Voila, there we go. I'm going to spread some carrots throughout the dish. And I just cut nice and chunky. I'll let cut them on the slant. You know, different cut instead of just cutting them in rounds. Adding chicken stock. You can add beef stock, which is traditional, but I prefer to adding chicken stock. I mean, it just gives it a bit of flavour myself. I'm going to season it with uh, some sea salt. And I like to use sea salt in preference to the dried oak. Um, cracked pepper. I need to season to taste. Worcestershire uh, sauce or Worcestershire sauce, however you want to pronounce it. And that just gives it a nice little, a little bit of bitter taste, but not too bad. And uh, a good drizzling of that. I probably got two tablespoons. Dark soy sauce. Yeah, it just gives it a, a nice little sweetness, but it also gives it that in-depth flavour as well. Beautiful. And same thing. I probably about three tablespoons. You can do this to your own taste. Now, if you've got any leftover uh, sachets in the cupboard, um, I'm using. Uh, Bit of stroganoff mix there, left over, uh, or you can use uh, onion mix, maybe onion mix. So uh, whatever you've got in there. Uh, if you wanted it even spicy, you could use the nacho mix. 
Uh, so just going to show you that you can, you know, this is a home cooked meal, but we want to make it with a bit of spit in the style. Ah, the classic dry red. And now this is a uh, end of bin, or as I should say, clean skin. But uh, down the counter your shop, local shop, cost you about uh, $3. Bit of taste it, have a smell. Mm -hmm. Not bad, you know, for a classic dry red. Not bad at all. So we're going to put some of that in the dish. You don't have to do this, but it's my preference. Uh, that'll cook off, the alcohol will cook off in the cooking process. That's going to give it a nice. Uh -huh. I'll just use about just over a quarter bottle. I'm just going to add some uh, water. Uh, just a bowl of water. Add some water through both dishes. We don't want it brimming over the top. So I'm, I'm doing it about probably a half per dish. I'm going to cover that with uh, tin foil so it'll steam as well, it won't escape. Now I'm just uh, cutting uh, the cauliflower up, I'm just going to cut the ends off any bad, any bad bits. Now uh, the end bits, bits that I cut off, I'm going to use for the guinea pigs, we've got some guinea pigs. But anyway, that's that's for another dish. Now I'm just going to um, mix the cauliflower in our mixer. Get it to a consistency of a sort of like a bread crumbs, maybe more chunkier bread crumb style. And as you can see, um, chunky bread crummy mixture just was a was it up in the whizzer. We're gonna we're gonna do, uh, we are going to spread that throughout the dish now, just over the top. Of now just going to grate some cheese. This is just normal cheddar cheese. You can try different cheeses. Now the cheese really mixes nicely with the cauliflower, the bread crumb, bread crumb style and um, gives it a nice little crust on the top. Now just um, open, open the oven, the oven is set at 180 and put them in the oven for about 10-15 minutes at 180 and then I'll turn it down to 150 for the rest of the duration. I'm going to cook it a bit slower, I'm expecting about roughly 60 minutes. I might even go for 90 minutes if I wanted to turn it down even more. So that's uh, my Mark the Chef stew, Mark the Chef style MTC, and uh, that will be in the oven for about uh, 40 minutes to about 60 minutes. If you want to cook it longer, you just turn it down, and you can add it for an hour or so, whatever you want to do. So that's MTC, Mark the Chef signing off, see you again next time.